Hello my fellow battling brawlers, we are here today with another video. This time is going to be on another Geodeca Bakugan. Uh, from the Bakugan Geogon Rising um, part of the line. Um, oh, I just, I'm just seeing this for the first time here. One, uh, what's this? One Pyramid, one Core, one Card. I don't know, one Geogon, one Decacore, one Card. Is that what that is? That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, this one is on the Pyrus Arcleon, uh, one of Dan's main Geogons he uses, I guess. Um, there's no set Geogon to set person, they just get whatever the heck comes out of the thing. Uh, out of the portal? I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call that exactly in the anime if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is uh, Pyrus Arcleon, it includes the Deca, the Deca Core, and the Ability Card. Um, so yeah, let's just pretty much go ahead get right into it all right take out our cube uh take out card and the core all right now we can get right ahead of this thing because we don't really need it anymore all right uh the core card here it comes with is indeed arcleon uh character geogon card uh one energy cost pretty good uh nine b powered two damage and uh does get double strike um this is pretty much uh take your pick kind of thing uh best you can do with this one is 1550 which isn't really good so it's uh, maybe it's not the best pyrus geogon to use uh but it is out of the other one sarturian i think that's his name i think that's the better one to go with and his uh, geogon deca core here uh, is, uh, just doing a little comparison with the old ones. With the old cores, there is a slight, uh, oh, I don't have any Battle Brawlers core, uh, cores out, do I? No, I just have Dugons, but anywho. Um, like the Battle Brawlers and Armored Alliance cores, uh, they had the hexagon pattern, you know, just going along the back here. And these new Dugon Rising ones, they kind of have it like, uh, a battlefield, and then the hive, and then the, the drone, and then your hive matrix out, like that. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool, interesting new design. Um, yeah, so the numbers on him here, for those who want to know, uh, Bakugan, uh, Bakugan Core, BKC, Arcleon, uh, Rare, uh, SG, which is the set, I'm blanking on the set name, Shield, I'm blanking, <laughs> no, I'm blanking on the set name here, because we don't have it here in Canada, so that's unfortunate, uh, but yeah, just the character, straight copy from the, from that, uh, yeah. Also, uh, we are going to do a slight comparison of the DECA with the regular version here. Uh, now, first things first, um, from what we can see, uh, obvious, the obvious difference here is the placement of the faction symbol. Uh, now, on the DECA one here, it's kind of in the middle of the wing, and on uh, the regular version, it is on the tip of the wing, so that's one difference. Um, that we can see first off. So let's try to focus this better. All right. Um, any other differences on this side? I can see not a whole lot. Um, the shades are different. This is a much more matte. Has a matte more is matte 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 finish on it, and this is a bit more glossy. I think of a red on the plastic. Um. On the back here, uh, this has the whole all rights reserved, copyrighted here. I'm not sure where it is on this guy. Uh, but it's on the back of his uh, tail, whatever, on him on the outside. Again, I just bought for the Geogon, uh, or the Geogon, the back of gear there for whatever reason. Um, you also do see the inside. They didn't uh, clean it up as well uh, for the springs and everything like they did on this guy. Also, from what I am seeing, let's go on to the, let's go, I'll take a look at that other part in a second. Uh, the other side here, um, oh yeah, it is a more closed off uh, spot for the back of gear. This one, you can see through, through it more there. Uh, it's one other thing. Other than that, it's pretty much, pretty much, I guess the shape, uh, some slight shape differences here, as you can see. From it going up. Little little shape differences, but they had to, you know, upscale it a bit, so they had to do 
a few things differently. Yeah, let's go on to the bottom here. Again, there is no arrow, and I move, you know, there's no arrow there. Um, yeah, this is a, has some more hollow spaces, uh, some are filled in, but, you know, that's a lot. It has to do with scale and everything, right? So, uh... Oh yeah, also on this one, uh, they just made this, this whole paint plastic. They went it all the way down, pretty much. Uh, as opposed to they kind of just cut off, uh, cut off right there. Just cut off at the bottom there, which to this one, it just kept going. Uh, that's one other thing. Okay. Uh, so now let's go ahead and compare, uh, them in their open form. Uh, so one card length and dropped. All right, uh, and then let's just go ahead and drop that guy. Yeah, all right. So here is Arcleon, Deca Arcleon, regular Arcleon. Okay, uh, first off, the difference is, let's just go ahead and start with the head here. Okay. Uh, so the head is much more, you know, upscaled and detailed. Um, mouth has a bit more of an opening to it. If you can see his mouth there. It's a slightly different head sculpt. Um, obviously they did more detail because it is bigger. As you can only do so much when it's really small. Um, on his horns, uh, you see them as pretty much all solid pieces on the smaller regular guy. Um, and on the Deca, he does have, uh, parts, you know, cut out and hollowed and everything. Um, so that's one difference there. Uh, I know also I noticed on his feet how they are, you know, hollowed out pretty much. Uh, I don't know why they... I don't know how the process goes to, you know, transfer small to DECA. Um, and they can't just, you know, maybe different parts and everything, I suppose, right? Because on his feet, they use the tri-wing screw, um, which to oppose on the regular version, they use like a pin, uh, some type of pin insert there. Um, uh, B-Power is removed on the side there for obvious reasons, as this isn't part of, uh, traditional gameplay. Uh, let's see, on his back foot here, uh, it's more or less the same. Although this has more of a flat, uh, flat down, down slope on the back of his foot. You see it's more flat there, and this does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve up, and then it flattens out. Uh-huh. Yeah, again, on the back side here, you can see it going all the way down. I'm sure this one kind of just cuts off there for the translucence. Um, again, the sculpting on this part uh, of his tail here, it is pretty much fills in the whole area, which this one, it kind of cuts off about halfway through. Um, yeah. Then the other side, other side there. Um, let's look on the bottom. Not much, really. Oh, yeah. See another hollowed out. No, if you can't really see that, but this part here on him is pretty much hollowed out. Um, which two on this guy? It's all you know filled in and flat and everything, more or less. Um, and then on upwards, looking at him when he's just sitting up like this. Uh, obviously you can see the faction symbol change, uh, like positions on the wing. It went from like, from it's more towards the tip to, to the middle. Um, which this does look a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Not much really else. That's pretty much it. Comparison wise. For the Decas, uh, for Deca Arcleon at least, I think he looks pretty cool. You know, whole Manticore, is that, is that what he is? He's a Manticore, I think. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's a Manticore. Uh, something along those lines.
But, uh, but yeah. There we go. Uh, have you enjoyed this here video? Uh, oh yeah, uh, first off, let's figure out how to close them again. For those who don't know, pretty much the same thing you do with the small one. You pretty much just uh, push everything into each other and hope that it works out. Um, let's do with the feet. Always start with the feet. You want to do the feet and the head uh, pretty much first, but... If you do the head before the feet, that doesn't work out. So feet, head. You gotta push push the horns in and then close it. Uh, and like bring the wings and then the tail. That's pretty much that. This was a bit open, but yeah. Like when he opens, he's like in a sitting position then you bring him out and then his legs kind of, you know, it's like that. Yeah. Anywho. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed this here video on the Pyrus Archeleon deck of Bakugan, uh, please indeed leave a like. Uh, comment your thoughts on him down below. If you like him, you pick him up, you got him, what your thoughts are. I think he's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, turn the bell notification on so you know when my next video goes up. Uh, until... Next time, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers, have fun uh, battling, brawling, collecting. Uh, just remember to stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice your rolls and uh, drops as, um, yeah, practice your drops if you do plan on using a Geogun. Uh, make sure they are at one card length when you can, you, you can always just measure that during gameplay itself. Um, yeah, until next time, sayonara.